We're here today to talk about the saga of one Justin Carter, a 19-year-old Texan team who played League of Legends and found himself arrested and jailed over making somewhat inflammatory but sarcastic comments that probably would have gotten him an eye roll if he said it on the street. I'll see you on the other side. Good morning, Internet. I'm your host, Amorist, and welcome once again to another MMO Anthropology. We are in the lovely world of Neverwinter, with some nice floating rocks in the background, to talk about what's going on with Justin Carter right now, who is a League of Legends player who unfortunately felt the need to say some interesting things on Facebook. I don't know how well-versed everyone is in this case, but it's been in the gaming news and culture media for quite some time now, and you might be asking why I'm bringing up stuff said on Facebook in a show that I generally uh, focus on virtual worlds and MMO games. And one of the reasons is, is that we are a culture of social media, especially because virtual worlds themselves are social mediums. and. While virtual worlds are life worlds for many of these people who enter into them and they generate their own cultures and concepts within them, players produce communities that also use external media such as Facebook, Twitter, uh, message boards, wikis, and etc. And so we have a tendency to mix all of these because even as a life world, a virtual world, or even a game, a MOBA game like League of Legends, is just a space where people do to do to go to do a particular task. That, he, that Justin Carter is a League of Legends player and that this is happening to him brings it to the attention of the overall gaming community, but this is the sort of thing that could also happen to MMO game players just as easily. For a little bit of background, basically, Justin Carter was on... The game hiccup there for a moment. Justin Carter was on Facebook talking to one of his friends, probably about some frustrating thing from League of Legends. And his friend said, you're crazy. And he replied with, and I'll quote this, I'm fucked up in the head, all right. I'm going to shoot up a kindergarten and watch the blood of the innocent rain down and eat the beating heart of one of them. According to his father, he added JK and LOL to the end. Now... This triggered an investigation by a Texan police department who, that led to a warrant being filed to search his house in February 13 of this year, which then led to an arrest a week later. He then spent approximately four, four months in jail waiting for his trial date, on a $500,000 bond. Unfortunately, his family is extremely poor and can't afford $500,000 to get him out of jail, which is why he spent so much time in there, until recently an anonymous donor paid the entire $500,000 bond for him to show up on trial. Now, his hearing, his most recent one, was supposed to be on July 16th, but I'm not aware if, if that actually went through or what happened there or what. But there is a lot of news uh, spilling forth about this entire thing. And so far, all we have uh, is the side of Justin Carter and his family who are painting this as this was just a message that he put on Facebook. People blew it out entirely out of proportion. The police didn't find anything with their search warrant, but yet they still went ahead and charged him with a terroristic threat. And a terroristic threat is essentially saying something that is terrifying or scary or suggestive that you're going to commit some evil act. Often, the laws involving terroristic threats also require the state to show that there was some sort of intent to terrify people or to intimidate or to actually go through with it. One of the reasons that this comes to my attention is that competitive games like League of Legends and PvP and other games often brings to the fore a certain amount of behavior in people from young teenagers all the way up to adults 
which is called trash talk. And part of trash talking is building yourself up, sounding dramatic. I'm going to eat your babies! You know, the sort of thing that we've heard boxers say in the ring. It sounds crazy, it's berserk, it's uh, bizarre, but in the end, it doesn't, it sounds melodramatic rather than actually threatening. And I, I bring I'm going to eat your babies up because of, not just because of Mike Tyson, but because I play enough Borderlands 2 that half of the characters in the game say this sort of thing. And it feels like the same sort of threat. Although, probably a little bit, yeah, weirder than that. Hold on, let me move. Now, in this case, it was pulled out of Facebook. His statement was, if in fact he had added JK or LOL, we could speak to, well, how would we react if someone had said this on the street or sitting in a table at a restaurant next to us? If JK and LOL were part of this, uh, actual signifiers of sarcasm, he'd probably have been sitting there gesticulating oddly, chuckling to himself as he said, I'm going to shoot up a kindergarten and watch the blood of the innocent rain down, and then I'm going to eat a beating heart. And more than likely, he would have gotten an eye roll from his companions or people from other, you know, sitting at other tables, but it's unlikely that the police would have ever looked into this sort of thing because, well, people say bizarre, melodramatic things all the time. Uh, especially youngsters, one might admit. Instead, this being on Facebook uh, uh, developed into an investigation by the police department who then decided that they had enough information about him to go forward with a charge. Now... We don't know almost anything about what the police department actually has on him. All we know is that his lawyers and parents say that the warrant revealed absolutely nothing from his house, that his parents are, that his family is very poor and unable to afford, well, $500,000. I couldn't afford $500,000. And often, this sort of behavior, uh, thinking that it's funny to laugh about shooting up a... Um, a kindergarten, is often met and controlled with just generic social opprobrium. Simply rolling your eyes and, and saying, yeah, 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 I know you're kidding, but that's, that's kind of, that could be taken wrong. We say that often. But the thing is, is that generally the government, a sheriff, it doesn't get involved and pick up everyone on a video game or even Facebook who makes comments like this. We've seen uh, police officers threatening to kill a presidential, like the first lady. We've seen people on comments and forums uh, suggesting all sorts of violence. It feels more like he's been singled out for some weird reason than any actual underlying premise. And as a result, the gaming community, noting that he's a League of Legends player, aside from you know, that League of Legends apparently has a, a culture of somewhat toxic players who have a tendency to yell at each other. And we're all fully aware of how on Xbox Live, a lot of people are muting other people for shouting epithets or profanity or their trash talk going overboard. And some of us would like police to become involved and arrest these people and take them away. But, but really, just the mute button is often more than enough. And the way that that our society already controls people who make jokes like this is mostly involved in telling them that it's kind of stupid and that maybe they were a little bit overdramatic. Justin Carter's case is a weird con uh, confluence of different events. It's a, a kid who thought that he was talking to one of his friends, speaking out loud in a public fora, Facebook, that could be seen by other people, in a fashion that's probably accepted by his friends. Uh, joking about uh, bad acts or terrifying things or even violence isn't even as threatening as trash talk. And if we look at the sort of trash talk that emits from, I don't know, League of Legends esports, or even just pickup games in World of Warcraft, I've been in some pug groups where people were really nasty. The police didn't become involved in those. I just hit the ignore button and never saw them again. 
most of the time, virtual worlds, in virtual worlds, we control our social connections by choosing who we talk to and how we talk to them. I mean, if everyone walking down this path right here was an individual that I had played with, I could set uh, roles and functions for how they could interact with me. Whereas in the real world, when we come into contact with other people, we change the way that we speak. And if Justin had thought that he was speaking to an audience that would, well, react by having him arrested for making an overdramatic comment, which he, now that he's spoken to CNN, has said, as, we, as everyone believes that it was blown out of, con out of proportion and out of context, it certainly looks that way. And so I'm wondering now, in light of this Facebook comment, how often do you run into people, especially if you play PvP or games, who are, like, extremely frustrating or, or loudmouthed or have a tendency to say ridiculously violent things? Is, is this a common encounter that you have in video games? Do you, do you play Call of Duty? Do you play World of Warcraft or League of Legends? Uh, what do you do when you run into an abusive player, and how easy is it for you to tell the difference between someone who is joking about doing violence to uh, some generic group, or I should say even you, depending on how the trash talk is developing, and someone who is just joking? Now, I'm looking for your experiences in how you react, because I know some of us actually yell at our computers and rage, but we don't type it in to, for other people to hear. There's, there's definitely a, a barrier there. But then the ones who do type it in think that they've got an audience who are used to this sort of thing, or at least I suspect that they do. So I'm wondering, where, where do you put the line? Have you crossed the line? Are you used to people yelling at you? And would you really like to see someone put in, in prison for, for saying this, especially if they had demarked it in the way that all of us, especially those of us online, recognize jokes by putting JK and LOL on it? Or would you prefer that a bunch of people say, hey, that was kind of inflammatory and stupid? Meanwhile, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. You should read all the articles below about Justin Carter and the saga that is still developing. There will probably be more news on this soon. Now, meanwhile, also, see you later, good night, and good dreams. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for coming along. Of course, if you're interested in what's going on with the Justin Carter case, I'll be following it as things develop. So you should follow the MMO Anthropology Twitter. As usual, if you like what you've been hearing, and I hope I've earned your like, hit the like button. And if you're interested in the anthropology of online worlds and video games and virtual worlds and culture, subscribe. And if you have anything to say about what I've been talking about today, leave a comment. Meanwhile, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, or I will eat your babies.